Hello, dear students. Welcome to our online English school. Today, you will learn about pool rules. You will learn how to behave in the swimming pool. You will also learn modal verbs must and mustn't, and you will revise modal verbs can and can't. Are you ready? Let's start our lesson. Listen to the instructions, please. Match the signs to the words. Where would you see these signs together? Look at the signs, please. Where would you see these signs together? Right, in the swimming pool. Now, let's read the rules. No running, no diving, no playing, no eating. Let's match the rules with the signs. No running. No diving. No playing. And no eating. Let's check. Very good. Now you will practice a listening exercise. First, listen to the instructions, please. Listen and watch. Then match the two halves of the sentences. Before you watch the video, let's read the halves of the sentences. You can't go swimming with a broken leg. You mustn't enter the pool without. You must have a shower. You mustn't dive. You can't eat. You can't run or play. You mustn't push. Other halves of the sentences. Because you mustn't get the plaster wet. People in the water. Before you enter the pool. In or around the pool. In the pool area. A swimming cap. In the shallow end. Are you ready? Let's watch the video. Okay, welcome to Highbury Swimming Pool. Here are some pool rules before we start. First of all, you must have a shower before you enter the pool. And you can't eat in the pool area. You can't run or play in or around the pool. You mustn't push people in the water because it's dangerous. You mustn't dive in the shallow end for the same reason. Are there any questions? Yes. Can I go swimming with a broken leg? No, you can't go swimming with a broken leg because you mustn't get the plaster wet. Are there any other questions? Can I leave my hair down? No, you mustn't enter the pool without a swimming cap because it's unhygienic. Okay, you can go and get changed now. Are you ready to match the two halves of the sentences? Good. First sentence. You can't go swimming with a broken leg because you mustn't get the plaster wet. You mustn't enter the pool without a swimming cap. You must have a shower before you enter the pool. You mustn't dive in the shallow end because it is dangerous. Next rule. You can't eat in the pool area. You can't run or play in or around the pool. You mustn't push people in the water. Very good. So you learned the rules how to behave in the swimming pool. Now you will watch a video explanation of modal verbs must and mustn't. Please watch carefully and take notes. Lesson 21. Modal verbs. Must and mustn't. It's the evening and I'm very busy. I must check all the students' homework. I mustn't forget to give it to them tomorrow. 
I must also prepare a test for my first group, but I needn't do that right now. That can wait until the weekend. We use must to say that something is necessary or important. I must prepare a test. I must check the student's homework. We use must not or mustn't to say that something is forbidden or not allowed. I must not forget. I mustn't forget. When we want to say that something is not necessary or important, we use needn't. Look at the example. I needn't prepare a test today. This means that I can do it today if I want, but it is not necessary. It can wait. I must check students' homework. I mustn't forget. I needn't prepare a test. Let's have a look at more examples with must and mustn't. Look at these sentences, please. You must have a shower before you enter the pool. You mustn't enter the pool without a swimming cap. We can also use modal verb can't. Can't and mustn't are both used to express prohibition, but can't is used for things that are against the rules. For example, you can't eat in the pool area. You can't run or play in or around the pool. Mustn't is used for things other people tell us not to do. These are opinions. For example, you mustn't dive in the shallow end because it is dangerous and someone tells you not to dive. Look at this sentence, please. Can I go swimming with a broken leg? No, you can't. Okay, you can go and get changed now, but you mustn't take too long. Mustn't take too long means someone gives you an advice not to be too long in the swimming pool. Can't is also used to ask for and give permission, as in this example. Can I go swimming with a broken leg? No, you can't. So you don't allow someone to go swimming. Again, look at these examples. You can't go swimming with a broken leg because you don't allow someone to do this. You mustn't get the plaster wet. You advise someone not to get the plaster wet. Very good. Now let's practice grammar exercises with modal verbs can't and mustn't. Listen to the instructions, please. Look at the posters in the gym and complete the sentences with can't or mustn't. What can't you do because it's against the rules? And what mustn't you do because you know it's wrong? Look at these signs, please. And here you see five sentences, which you need to complete with modal verb can't or mustn't. First sentence. Read it, please. You mustn't do gymnastics if you feel ill. It is not against the rules, but it is a strong opinion. Next sentence. Look at this sign, please. You can't enter the gym wearing outdoor shoes because it is against the rules and you are prohibited to enter the gym wearing outdoor shoes. Next sentence. You mustn't forget to warm up before you start the lesson. It is not against the rules, but it is an opinion. You mustn't talk when the teacher is explaining what to do. You are advised not to talk while you are listening to teacher's explanation. And last example. 
You can't eat in the gym because again, it is against the rules. Let's check. Let's read the rules again. You mustn't do gymnastics if you feel ill. You can't enter the gym wearing outer shoes. You mustn't forget to warm up before you start the lesson. You mustn't talk when the teacher is explaining what to do. You can't eat in the gym. Very good. Read and choose the correct answer. Here you see the questions related to modal verb can. As you remember from the previous lessons, we use modal verb can to express a skill or an ability. For example, I can swim. In questions, we use modal verb can to ask for permission. For example, can I dive into the water? And we also use negative form of modal verb can, can't, to express a strong prohibition against the rules. For example, you can't enter the pool without changing your shoes. Now, let's answer these questions. Can I go swimming tomorrow? Look at these answers. No, you can't. You are ill. Can we get out of the pool now? Good idea. It's cold. Can I go and see the school nurse? Are you ill? Can I borrow your glasses? No, you can't. I need them. Can Emily come to stay tomorrow? Of course she can. Doctor, when can I take the plaster off my arm? In two weeks. Let's check the answers. Very good. Let's do more exercises with modal verb can. Listen to the instructions, please. Read and decide if the sentence expresses a rule, a strong opinion, or permission. First sentence. Can I see the doctor? I don't feel well. Of course, you can. Is it a rule, an opinion, or permission? Yes, it is permission. Can I see the doctor? Of course you can. Next sentence. You mustn't make so much noise. People are trying to sleep. As you remember from the rule, we use can't to talk about when something is against the rules and we use mustn't when you are not allowed to do something because it is someone's opinion. So, it is an opinion. You mustn't make so much noise. People are trying to sleep. Next example. You can't leave your car where the ambulance is turned. Is it a rule, an opinion, or permission? It is a rule. It is prohibited to leave cars where the ambulance is turned. Can I keep my shoes on in the gym? No, you can't. Is it a rule or an opinion or permission? Yes, it is permission. Next, you mustn't go running if your leg hurts. Is it a rule or an opinion or permission? It is an opinion. It is not against the rules, but someone advises you not to run if your leg hurts. You can't enter the pool if you have a foot infection. And it is a rule. Let's check the answers. Very good. So today, you learned the rules of pool, how to behave in the swimming pool. You also learned how to use modal verbs must and mustn't, and can and can't. Very good. 
The lesson is over. See you next time. Goodbye.